Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Alright, it's time to cross off some more things from my list that I haven't discovered. So, I was looking for Ornifax, I think that's her name, the bird woman, who is apparently in the room with the creepy dolls somewhere in Brightstone Cove, this general area, I think. Not quite sure. Somewhere around here. Anyway, I was searching for her, and I went to this area. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see where this is, it's next to this sinkhole thing down here. So I've just been going around here looking for her, and I found a place that I've not found before. This room here, it's got a big hole, it's got a ladder, and there's a bonfire down here. So, that's interesting. Let's go explore it. Hmm, I wonder what this says. Hiding place. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna vote that up. <laughs> Go there in case of an earthquake. Rolling fine work. Fine work, yes, yes indeed. Yep, I never went here. I think I'm about to sneeze. Maybe. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. There's a wall. Secret, secret wall place. There's definitely a wall. The question is, is there a secret wall? And the answer is no. Alright, so that's all this is. It's just another bonfire. So I'm still looking for that weird creepy doll room. In fact, is this it? Oh, this is it! Hello. Alright, hold on, I got some shit to deal with. That looked like it hit me, but then it didn't. Weird. Oh. Don't want to get petrified. Oh my god. I want to kill it, but... Is it just going to keep spewing? It is. Alright, fine. Okay, it doesn't look like it can reach. is mildly concerning that that extremely violent magical energy is coming within about three feet of my head but apparently I'm fine so yeah when uh, Ornifax or whatever her name is says that she'll be just down the way when you rescue rescue her in that other spot what she actually means is she's going to be in a random room in an entirely different place it's very strange that's why I'm okay with somebody somebody telling me where she's at because there's no reasonable way you could possibly know. Go we meet again, kind traveler. This is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I will be called a blacksmith. What do you make here? I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. Mm -hmm. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I require no payment this time. But you must bring me a wondrous soul. I have many souls. Take a pick. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. Interesting. Weaponsmith Ornifex. Oh, Ornifex, not Ornifax. Ornifex. The nature of an item is vaguely influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use, but when wielded properly, are extremely powerful. This is what I meant by unique. These wares are not for use by ordinary folk. It's hard to believe now, but this land was once a flourishing kingdom. Its king, Vendrick, came close to unlocking the essence of the soul. What a dazzling soul he surely had. Imagine what 
I might create with such a powerful soul. Am I perhaps at one point going to be able to get that soul? Hmm. It is said that our technique originates from a strange being that inhabited this land. A pale beast that lived long, long ago. We don't even know what exactly it was. If you find a wondrous soul, bring it by for me to have a look. I wonder if I actually have a wondrous soul. I have so many souls, but are any of them technically wondrous? Do you find me strange? <laughs> <laughs> you humans are always this way. The way you glare at any unfamiliar creature. That mix of curiosity, fear, and revulsion. No, oh, that hardly concerns me. There's quite a few creatures that I think are actually kind of cute. You are not one of them. The nature of an item is greatly influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use. This. Hold on, before trading, let's just see... You can't do any special reinforcement, right? Just standard... stuffs. Yeah. Alright, what do you have? Whoops. Alright, what do you have for standard weapons? Some very expensive stuff. Murakumu. Kumo. It's a wide blade. It's a curved greatsword. Partisan. Hmm. Okay, nothing I really want there. Yep, soul of the Duke's dear Frasia. Old Iron King, Dragon Slayer. Okay. So I'm assuming this is stuff that the other guy that I unpetrified could not make. I'm assuming this is unique. Spider Fang. Spider Silk. It's a thrusting sword. <laughs> Butcher's knife. It's a great hammer. I'm sure this stuff would look very cool, but none of it is really something I want to use. Unfortunately. Oh well. Come again, if it please you. At least I know where you are now. Okay, that crosses another thing off my list. Uh, what to do next? Oh, yes, I think... I missed something, perhaps a mini-boss, in a very early area. Where was it? Um... Yeah, it's here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's around here. There's a door I forgot to open. Or I couldn't unlock it at the time. Something like that. Wait. Is this the right way to go? I think it is. It's a long trek to get where I want to go, actually. Also, wait a minute. Did I ever go down there? No. How do you get there? Could I survive it now that I have the cat ring? One must wonder. One has an answer. Um... There's stuff on both sides that I want. And if I get off this pile, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back onto it. Have I ever been over there? I guess not. Where the hell? Alright, well, let's go in here first. Fire Drake Stone. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Jesus. Fucking hell! I'm dead. <laughs> uh... It seems practically impossible to dodge it. Because it's an AoE. And it shoots a bunch of them. I wonder what the fire drake stone that I got does. in here should be here right fire seed fire drake there it is it's the only one I've gotten and use equipment with fire I didn't already have one I guess I didn't okay let's just preemptively take this shit Well, goodbye, souls. I could always use a, you know, homeward bone or whatever, but I don't really care that much. Souls aren't really worth that much anymore. Yeah, these aren't very challenging. It's a very early area. Two for one, double kill. That is not worth a damn bit of anything. It's like something's burning. Also, how in the hell did someone leave a message up there? I think I saw another message up there. Oh, they must have come from up there on that platform, yes. Hmm. Alright, let's go up this way. There's a ladder over there, but both of these places probably lead to the same thing. Could even potentially go this way, I suppose. We yeah. Oh, it actually worked. Impossible. <laughs> no, it's not. I hear disturbing noises in the walls. So, wait, how do I get up there? I gotta get over there. How do I get over there? I don't know. Try jumping. Ring. Critical hits ahead.
try jumping. Jumping to where? <laughs> Do you mean jumping across there? Unless there's a ring that gives me a jetpack, I don't think it's gonna happen. Where do I go to get up there? That whole area. It's another one of those creepy tree people things. Over there as well. Hmm. Wait, how do I leave? Oh wait, there's an area over here. Oh, wait, I've been here before. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't even lock on. It's cool how you can do that directionally, you can jump in one way and then attack a different way. Like jump this way, or sorry, roll. Roll this way. And then if you aim your stick over to the right when you attack, it actually attacks that way. Ooh. Very cool. Not sure if you've noticed, but it's something I use a lot in PvP to throw off the enemy. I'll like dodge to the side of them and then attack to the... towards them. Works pretty well. Okay, so can I just, like, fall... I guess I can just fall off here, huh? Bonfire ahead, and then try Hidden Path. Alright, well, let's get our stuff back. Actually, no, before I do that, I should get my souls back. I don't care about them that much, but I do care about them a little bit. I think I might just need to wail on it and hope I can interrupt its attacks. Oh my god. I'm just gonna use the Homeward Bone. Fun fact, right before I started recording, I was using some mouthwash and when I went to spit it out in the sink, um, a little droplet of the mouthwash splashed up and went into my eye. Guess what? It's not pleasant. There's my fun facts for the day. Did you enjoy them? I hope you did. Oh my god. <laughs> it has so much health. <laughs> um Okay. I might Well, all right. Let's use a human effigy first. I might have to use ranged combat against it. That might be the way to go. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try ranged combat. Exploderize in that pillar if you want to. Ain't gonna do a damn thing. So if I do hand a crossbow, does it do more damage? I doubt it. 
I can't even target it from here. That's a problem. In fact, it's a problem and I'm pretty sure it's going to make this plan not work at all. Okay, well, it obviously leads the shots just like it, you know, anything that shoots arrows does. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That, that is not even... Nope, don't do that. Nope, get closer, closer. There we go. That's not even gonna remotely work. I wonder if those are technically spells. I do have my spell parrying shield. Do I really want to try to parry those? No, I really don't. It doesn't even move. I really wish it just came towards me. Alright. I guess I'll use a shield. <laughs> I don't want to use a shield. I don't have the strength for that. What's well, the best shield I have? It can't just still be the starting shield, right? I'm going to use this shield just because it looks cool. Golden Wing, even though it isn't that good. Actually, maybe I should use something else. Nah, I'm gonna use this. Alright, let's see how much it protects me. Okay, took a ton of my stamina, protected me decently. Oh, what the fuck? What in the fuck is down here? What did I just go into? Did you move, or is there just another one? That's gotta be another one, right? Holy shit, where am I? Safe zone. Be wary of duo. Try poison. Don't tell me there's more of them down here. Oh, no. I really want my souls back. Can I parry? What's the point of parrying? It's not even going to hit them. Actually, hold on. This one I might be able to do with range combat. So I'm relatively close to it. I'm trying to target it, by the way, I can't. Damn it. Fuck. My. Life. Just fuck my life. I don't have my weapon equipped. <laughs> I tried to punch it in the ass. Fuck my shield, too. Well, alright. I'll keep my shield in my back. Can I backstab? Oh, okay. Thank you for pushing me. Okay, this one's different from the rest. This one actually doesn't spit fire at me. Yeah, these attacks are fine. Oh, something's shooting fire over there. I don't know what's going on over there. Alright, I'm just gonna beat you in the head. Oh god. He looks angry. Thankfully he's dumb. Am I, like, on fire? No, the ground's on fire. I'm not on fire.
place is like the land of fire and brimstone and doom and pain and misery. Of course, what's up there is even worse. The weird thing is I'm not even getting many souls for killing these things. They don't do much damage, they just they take forever to kill. The ones up there do a hell of a lot of damage, though. This is a very strange place. What is down here? Rebel's Great Shield. Uh, fine work. Thanks. Is that a person? Might be a statue. Tongue and then circling around. Be wary of trap left. Hmm? Why don't you come in here? Or maybe not. Where am I? I think I've been here before. Oh. It's the room where I defeated my first boss. I don't even remember this door. There's the uh, elevator back there. Okay. So I didn't have to take the rather dangerous route. Before I attempt to get my souls back, let's see what's up here. Wait, can I go back? Oh, okay. It's one way. Be wary of behind and short enemy. Nope, I already killed him. I'm good. Fire longsword. Ooh. Sounds cool. Sounds fiery. Oh. This is just here. Oh, right, I can't go back, can I? Nope. Alright, well, let's make one last attempt at these drakes. These ones that are up... Are they drakes? Fire drakes? Fire lizards? Whatever they're called. For some reason, I call them drakes, even though I don't think they've ever mentioned that name before. It just felt right for some reason. Uh, given that the ones up there are way harder than the ones down below, I'm hoping they have something spe special on them. They probably don't, but maybe. Wait, don't I have a ring of... Wait, I don't have a ring of fire resist, do I? No. No, I do not. Could take the safer way down, but whatever. Right, it's right there. Hmm. Can I attack one without the other attacking me? Don't really know. Oh 
my god. It was kind of pushing me along when it was turning there for a little while, which is perfect, because then it keeps me away from its mouth, but then... <laughs> nope. Okay, I'm going to give it one more shot and I'm going to use my shield. After that, I have no more patience for that, because it's probably not worth a damn. Whatever it might have on it is probably not that special. More bones soon. Stupid pile of refuse, it's slippery. It's covered in banana peels. I didn't regenerate my Estus flasks, but I don't give a damn. That didn't work so well. I'm not even gonna make it back before I'm dead. Okay, I'm done with those souls, I don't care about them. Was I out of stamina or something? I'm not quite sure. I know before I was able to barely take all three shots and my stamina was very low, but it was still there. In that case, I think I ran out. Anyway. Get out of my inventory, you shieldy piece of shit. Now I do believe I was going to attempt to jump down here or something. How do I get over there? The stairs are broken, I think. Are they? I can't tell. If I can get up there, I'm not sure if that would allow me to get up there. Well. Oh, whoa. Is that actually... Oh my god. That actually worked. <laughs> kind of. It's not going to get me up there. Whoa. Listen to that noise. But it will get me to this. Twinkling ti two things of twinkling tide night. I don't think you're meant to go in that room because there's like the assets inside of there look extremely low resolution and boxy. Pretty sure you're not meant to go in there. But how do I get up there? Huh. Don't know, but this actually is not even where I intended to explore before. So let's actually go to where I intended to go. There's my souls. I could get them. Oh, there's even a skeleton down there I didn't loot, apparently. I really don't care that much, though. Try tongue butthole. No thanks. Fine work skeleton. You know, I heard someone say that fine work skeleton is some sort of a Dark Souls meme. Is it? Because I never noticed it before. And if it is, then what the hell does it even mean? Is it just saying, like, good job skeleton, you're dead? I don't really know. Nice! That's what my halberd gets for being so big. And you're still up there.
Okay, I think, yeah, it was over here. Let's hope the world doesn't explode this time. Better take this just in case it does. Let's just run in here. to do the shield break thing, but nope. Alright, so I think this is the door. Yes, it is. The door I never explored. Halbert v. Halbert. Mine's plus ten. really pretty. Dark spirit ahead. Be wary of tough enemy. Oh, I think we do have a boss here. Where am I? I feel like I'm like near the head or something. Part of one of those huge statues. Because there was a giant sword in the area. You know, this... I wonder if this is going to be the boss that I saw in the trailer. I still have not seen the boss that I saw in the trailer. Let's see if we can get a good view here. Not really. Little glimpses of it. Yeah, there's the hilt of the sword. Praise the sun? Praise the sun. I knew it would say praise the sun. Beautiful. Alright, let's do this. Is this the boss? I think it is. Uh, yeah, it's you. That is the boss I saw in the trailer. I think. Oh, okay. You're not going to shoot laser beams out of your eye, are you? Please don't. Oh, you can float. I'm a little bit worried now. Oh, you're not as big as I thought. Oh my god. Oh, oh, uh, great, I've been cursed. I love how the combat in Dark Souls is like a dance. It's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Okay, obviously a very low-level boss. Ring of Blades. I like blades. But yeah, I just love how the combat in Dark Souls is often like a dance. I really do think it's kind of beautiful, sometimes. Increases physical attack. Hmm... Modeled after the Mad Knight of Alkin's weapon of choice, increases physical attacks. The kingdoms of Alkin and Ven long ago flourished on these very grounds. They were both founded by the same man, but were reduced to rivalry and spite. 
Okay, how much does it increase? Uh, that's not the button I meant to press. Where do I look at my current damage? It's here, right? Yeah, okay. So 402. Plus 15. Hmm. So it went up by 20. 20 more damage. That's significant. I don't know if it's significant enough. I certainly value stamina regeneration much, much higher than that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my current loadout. Guess I could have shot this at it as well. This is more fun to dodge its attacks, though. <laughs> Look at that sword. Let me guess, you died by getting a little bit too close to the beautiful sight. Or maybe you just got stabbed? You just got stabbed. Okay. Good job. Hurrah for revenge. Now this is a beautiful view. Praise the sun. Praise the sun. Now you must have fallen off, right? <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh, you were trying to get in those platforms. Does that actually go anywhere? I think that might just be insta-death. Maybe. Wait a minute, is that an item? Oh, there is an item there, okay. Item ahead. I'll try to get it, maybe. I really want to break those. Oh, well. Alas, nothing happened. I wonder what you do with these things. I've got those weird smooth stones. So that might have something to do with this. I think I've got a fragrant branch of yore. Not that that would have anything to do with this. Maybe I don't have a fragrant branch of yore. I might have used my last one on the merchant dude. Hmm. Anyway, what's up with this? Uh... I vaguely remember something like that from the first Dark Souls. The bird elevator service. Lift service. Give me a ride. In the air. Uh, where are we going? Oh, I think somebody was telling me that you could do this. Yeah, I think they said, like, the nest after you fight the pursuer, I believe that guy's name was, the boss, takes you to the rest of the Bastille. Excellent. Crossing things off my list. Something. Y yes, something. Praise the something. Try tight spot. Hmm. He seems scared of me. Now he seems quite confident. Very confident. I'm gonna go before he beats me through here. Large die night shard. Nice. Okay, I don't believe I've been down here. No, but I can just get there anyway from going in here. Ooh, almost fell off there. Let's go here first. Hi. Bye. Let's go ahead and open this door. This is what was blocking it. Uh. 
bunch of stupid boxes. Perhaps I should not have hit that. It did kill them, though. And didn't hurt me very much at all. I just want to roll into everything until it explodes. It's so fun. Will you explode? Oh. Weakness, liar, therefore composure. Huh? Antiquated key and a ring. A key? To what? And what about this ring? Fallen foes yield more souls. A silver ring depicting the snake, both the servant and manifestation of the god of greed, Xandro. Greed is traditionally viewed as a vice, but only a fool allows that to ruin a good opportunity. Hmm. This key is very old, but in very good condition, such that it should still function. Only, what lock does this key fit? That is a very good question. I'm trying to see if these hints help at all. Illusory wall ahead. No, it's not. Fuck you. Has there been any door on this level that I have not been able to open? I can't remember any, off the top of my head. I wonder if there's something down there. Is that death? Or is it like a room that I could fall into? I kinda wanna fall down there. Only one way to find out. Okay, I don't think the key goes to something down there. An antiquated key. God, trying to think of everything in the entire game that has ever been locked and what that key might fit, I don't even know. I mean, I'm assuming it's something probably in the area. Seems fairly likely. Oh, you came down for the party. Alright, everyone just go home. Party's over. Give me back my souls. The jumping required ahead. No, it's not. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with that key. Alright, well that crosses another thing off my list. Actually, a couple things. I guess two things. The lost boss. The whole area with those fire drakey things, which I didn't even know existed. And... the rest of the Bastille.
Oh, right, that doesn't lead there. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, you know, I, can I get back? No. Yes, I learned my lessons about these little dips on the side. Don't fall into them. Might as well level up. What am I going to do next? I think I know what to try next, but first, yeah, let's level up. One level? What shall I do? Kind of want to do adaptability. Already pretty damn good at dodging. I'm also very fast at drinking. Mm. Let's do more stamina. Alright, time to go to the Shaded Woods. Which one? This one. Okay, so somebody suggested something interesting. They were wondering, and now I'm wondering too, if if you go back to talk to the guy, the guy's head, in the shaded woods, in the misty part. If you go back there, now that I've defeated his body and taken his armor and am wearing it, does he maybe say something different? You know, does he acknowledge it, or something? So I'm really curious. Let's go find out. Oh yeah, I guess this is the wrong weapon. For the invisible enemies in here. What? Who? Who are you? <laughs> Just wait, you dirty rat. Oh, oh, I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Cove down the way. I'm gonna find him and settle the score. Nobody insults me like that. Wait, he does? Have I not defeated the guy? For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> this is the guy that was talking about Pate, right? For the good of the... I won't let that bastard... The guy with a strange ring. Uh, have I met him? There's the guy that will forgive your sins. I never looked if he had any rings. Hmm. Let's hope I avoid all the enemies altogether. Let's see if any have come. I think I might be okay. Yeah, I guess I'm fine. Alright. Hi. Back again. Ah, it was you who vanquished my body. He does know. It is my body, you see, and I can sense what happens to it. I do not mourn for it. Good riddance. If you wish for help, summon me. I'm rusty in battle, but we'll fight by your side. Hmm. Wait, are, are you going to come and help me as just a head? I mean, I'll take all the help I can get, but... I was born in Feroza when I was eventually... I've been a... All I ever knew. What a... So, yeah, he does acknowledge it, and apparently he'll help me if I want him to. I'm not sure how to Very make well. that happen, though. I will retire. I'm not sure how I would call this help, but there you go. That's very cool. I like little details like that. 
Hold on. Tree. I speak your language. Hello. I'm just gonna leave. Pretty sure the ghosts won't follow me out of here. For the good of I won't let. So the bastard is in Brightstone Cove. That's lower Brightstone Cove. Hmm. I'm wondering if I might be an NPC. The guy's talking about. I wonder if I can even find the guy he's talking about. Let's go to this guy, though. Check him for rings. I think he has a ring on. Now, no. confess your sins to me. That's Cromwell, though. Cromwell. Isn't his name Pate or something? Who is he talking about? Might be just somebody I can never find, I don't know. Okay, next on the agenda. Okay, so here's what I've been told about the old guy. Remember the old guy I found in the... the Black Gulch or whatever that place was called? With all the poison shooting things? Remember that old guy? I talked to him, but he didn't really do anything. Apparently, if you find him three times in three different locations, he can, I guess, give you access to a rather extremely difficult boss, which sounds kind of awesome. No idea what the hell the boss is or how to fight it, but I would like to at least find it. So I already found him once. And remember, he's also up here inside of that room. He's like up on a little thing. But the question, but the problem is I need to actually get to him. I can't just see him. I have to actually talk to him. Are you coming to me? You are. You're going to be annoying. You know, I'm just going to keep going. You can catch up. I got some slicing to do. Actually, no, never mind. That's right. I've pretty much cleared out the entire place. Ugh. Okay, so apparently you can get to him by falling down a small hole between two trees or something? I think he would be over here. If I was to fall down, so... I'm gonna look for a hole. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I found it. Trap but friend. I meant to read the message, not open it. Hope it's not poison. Good luck. Homing soul mass. How did you die up here? What were you... Oh, they probably brought enemies down. Yeah, they rolled in there. And then the enemies fell down with them. That sucks. Hello! Young undead. Don't let this curse weigh upon you. We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. Young undead, if you truly seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. May we meet again. Somewhere. Sometime. Yep, there's the second time. Apparently the third time is just somewhere further on in the game that I haven't gotten to yet. I guess in Dranglea Castle or whatever. So, don't know where he is there exactly. I'm sure I'll find him. I'll be keeping an eye out, obviously.
Who's clinking? I hear clinking. Well, that's not what you want to use there. What the hell? How did that not hit? I'm pretty sure my halberd literally went through him. Very strange. Okay, what's next? Let's look at my list. Uh-huh. Done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Haven't done that. Done that. Okay, there's only two things on the, my list I haven't actually done. Let me think about them and how I want to approach them or whether I even want to approach them and I'll be right back. Ah, okay, yeah, somebody told me about a potentially respawning boss in this room, and they were right. It's the Pursuer again? It's the Smelter Demon Room. That's very strange. Is it harder than it was before? I think it is. I wonder why I would respawn. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage and it has like four times the health. Coming up a little bit short with my attacks here. movements right there. It's so beautiful the way it flows. And you are dead. I wonder if... Like, it's a very strange detail, because there's no way you could possibly know that that enemy would respawn in this room. Like, there's no reason to think that. So it's a very strange thing to add into the game. What do you give me? Ring of Blades plus one? Okay, so you, you defeat a harder version of the boss and you get a better version of the ring. It's neat. I mean, it's a neat little detail. It's just very strange. Okay, so before I got plus 20 damage... Let's see what I get now. No, that's not where you do it. Yeah, plus 15, so it went up to 35 before. Let's see what the plus 1 does. Hmm. That's 40 more damage. That is significant. Okay, well that's a good replacement for the cat ring when I know I don't need it. Which, at the moment, I don't believe I do. Alright, well, that's everything I really wanted to hit on my list. There's one more thing that I think I may have already done, I'm not really sure. So I'm just gonna skip it. I think it's time to continue the game. How do I get back there? That was close. Oh, there's a Bonnie up here. Okay, so the way you continue is apparently somewhere in the shaded woods. There's some sort of a 
shrine somewhere, one that I completely do not remember whatsoever. I think someone said it was over here. But I really don't remember a shrine this way. Let's go look, though. Maybe the shrine was back there, but let's keep looking up this way. Well, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here but the mini-boss down there. That kind of looks like a shrine, doesn't it? I guess. Sort of. But that's just back from where I just came, isn't it? I think so. Let's keep forging ahead this way. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here but a dead end. It almost looks like an area you can go into, but no. Oh, wait a minute. I never saw that pathway. This has got to be it, right? It's got to be. Yeah, that's got to be it. I, I really don't understand why they do this, though. Like, why put the only way you can actually progress in the game after you get the big souls... This little tiny pathway that you could easily miss. How very strange. Shrine of Winter. Oh, it just opened automatically. I guess that means I'm ready. Something. Yes. It's a serpent. Or a bunch of serpents with their heads cut off. Huh. I wonder what they say. It's a dragon. It's a bunch of people in robes. More people in robes. And another dragon. Now the real fight begins. Yeah, I'm assuming this would not have opened if I hadn't defeated the Great Souls. It's another one of you. Visions of stabbing in the back? Fine work. I failed. Try attacking. Yeah, okay, so I don't really want to attack this guy. And I've, I think I've seen two more of them previously. That I've never attacked. But apparently the rule in Dark Souls is that if you can target it, which I can, you're supposed to attack it. I don't know why, though. What's the point? He's, n he's not even... He just looks like a guy that's been shot up with a bunch of arrows. I just feel bad for him. But, alright. I guess I'm gonna backstab him. I wanna see him fight. Alright, he's quite fast. A lance. I wonder what the other ones have. 
Dare I even try to find it? Oh my god, I have too many things in my inventory. There it is. Oh, it does electric damage. Lightning damage. It's actually pretty damn good. Lances are normally wielded by mounted knights, and it takes considerable training to handle one on the ground. <laughs> A strange wall? Looks different from all the other wall pieces. It's almost like ashen, charcoaly brick. Illusory wall. No, there isn't. Liar. All lies. Stay calm. Okay. I'm perfectly calm. What is there to worry about? Be wary of loss of stamina. Hmm? Huh? Why would I lose stamina? It's raining. This is suddenly looking like the end of a horror movie. Stay calm. I think that's Dranglea Castle. Wait, why was, there, why was there a puddle noise? Why are they acting as if we're in water? We're most certainly not in water. I'm pretty sure a light rain does not an ocean make? Is that the correct grammar on that? I'm not sure. Okay, this looks kind of... Terrifying. Yeah, Dranglaic Castle. This is kind of terrifying. Oh my god. I can only imagine I have to go all the way to the top and fight a dragon or something. Gorgeous view. Yeah, it's gorgeous, but creepy. Visions of joy. <laughs> right. Oh, hi. Are you... Oh, it's you. This castle is isolated. But nonetheless, you must forge on. To bring an end to your journey and mine. Nothing more to say? Nothing more to say. Why are there bloodstains? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are there... I see, like, people or statues or something up there. Like, robed in black, it looks like. Hold on. This is a mission for... Binoculars! Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, if you move your character and zoom in at the same time, you can get some cool shots. I've only had more fine control over the camera movement.
try phantom. Hmm? Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Try range battle. No thanks. Try cir circling around. I always do. Always do. Actually, I suppose I don't circle around that much. Most... Fuck you. Mostly I just kind of keep my distance rather than actually circling around. Are these going to come to life? Yes, they are. 